banishing the January blues by losing yourself in a detective drama, then we've got a good one to tell you about. It's starting on Apple TV tonight. Yeah, it's called criminal record, as you can see, and it's about an old miscarriage of justice which some people want to put right. Sound familiar? But others don't. Let's see a clip. Patrick, sweetheart? Look at you. Angel. You're not supposed to be here. I know, I know. Listen, I, I wouldn't ask. Go away. It's just, you get so down. He just wants to wish you happy birthday, love. But it was last month. I know. But you know you mean the world to him. You and your mum. Hang on, Errol, love. Please. Talk to him. Hey. Patrick. Ooh, we're joined now by Cathy Tyson. You just uh, saw her in the clip there. Morning to you, Cathy. Morning. Thank you for joining us here. Oh, it's gripping stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Um, and it, it is out today. Um, and we did this in the summer of 2022. So, um... Can you remember the plot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. <laughs> Who done it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you. Um, but already it's, it's receiving fantastic reviews and it's already 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Which is fantastic. fantastic. And it comes out today. Two episodes drop today and then every when uh, other Wednesday, that's when an, uh, one episode so drops. So people have got to wait? Because we yes, seem to have yeah. gone through this phase where it would all drop at once oh, and you I, could binge it all night. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's, uh, we have to wait for this. Isn't that great? That's my kind of way to do it. Well, you kind of, you need that kind of sense of frustration and waiting. <laughs> you, you, you need the cliffhangers. You don't want to just click immediately, yeah? Yeah, at least one and two come together as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's an honour to be in it and, you know, just reflecting on who you've just had on as well. Mm -hmm. My character, Doris Mathis, mm -hmm. is similar to these extraordinary, ordinary folk that you've just had on from the post office. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't think I could do what she's done. I hope I, I, hope I could, um, my character, but I don't think I could. Just explain, give us a little bit of the background. Well, she, her son was uh, convicted um, f of a crime that she believes he doesn't commit and she keeps on trying to fight for his innocence. That's part of the plot uh, of criminal record. And she campaigns. She has a faith and that keeps her going. And she campaigns for her son's innocence. And also she's aware of the corruption that has gone on within the police force. She's very aware of that. Um, so that increases her belief in her son because of the research she's done into the local police force. What kind of research did you do for, for the role? I guess it forces you to look at all kinds of things in the news. Not all actors research, and I respect that as well. I, I, I've, I do. Um, I listened to something on Netflix about wrongly uh, convicted uh, people and their families. That was one, uh, and I was directed to that by Paul Ruttman the uh, writer, because he'd watched it as well, just to get into the essence of some of these people who endure the fight, you know? And that was good. Um, that was mainly most of the research that I did. I think I looked up some campaigns as well. It, it just, I can't help but think of the parallels between what we've just been talking about all mm. morning, miscarriage of justice. Mm and also the importance of drama and how drama can make such a difference mm -hmm. to the way people think about things. Obviously, we've got the post office issue, but your drama deals with some really important issues, I think, as well, doesn't it? It mm -hmm. just... Can, can drama really make people think differently? And it can change laws. I mean, somebody's just handed in their... What is it, CBE or yeah. MBE? Yeah. Paula CBE. Van Ols, yeah. the former head of yeah. the post office. I mean, it can change lives. You know, that's why I became an actor. It changed my life if, when I was 17, 18. I could see it was doing that for me. I have an utter belief in what drama can do for society. Um, 
you know, and also in a fun way. It's it's comedy and tragedy. You know, it's not all one thing. Um, and I'm really proud of uh, you know our our reputation as drama creators. You know, since television began. Um, so the themes of uh, domestic violence, um, racism, um, obviously c corruption within the police force. Honour as well, determination, you know, of um, Kush Jumbo's character. If she hadn't have really... So many things can just easily be dismissed. Uh, and she didn't dismiss something, a small thing, and she carried it on through. And that tiny thread led to undoing of other bits of information. Um, hopefully, I mean, I think a lot of people, it will resonate with a lot of people. Um, it features the inner city. Um, so people can resonate with all that that involves that living in the inner city with, um, you know, the infrastructure, the, the cage of that um, and how it works and works for them and works against them. Yeah. But hopefully, I mean, it will help us. And also what I love is the flawed character of Peter Capaldi, he's human. Yes. So when I was reading the script, it was like, I'm actually feeling for this man who is behaving in this way, yes, which I think is... It's another really powerful performance, isn't it? Yeah. Very. Yeah. So to have me not see him as a monster, yeah. but to see his haunting, he's yeah. haunted. It's Thank wonderful. you so much. There's some great telly on at the moment, isn't there? Really My just, goodness. Yeah. But we're definitely going to watch this one till the end. Thank you so much, Kathy, for coming. Criminal Record, available uh, from today on Apple TV+. Episodes 